All right, we're back. Mains time. Unfortunately, the game crashed. Um, I am replacing my headset after this race. I think it's something to do with that. I think there's a short that's happening and causing major issues. Hopefully, we'll be able to get in in time to watch this E main. Or no, yeah, is it the no? It's the D main. So, it's getting broken up into multiple videos because, uh, yeah, it screwed up Streamlabs and um, a few other things. Hopefully Race Labs is working okay. D-Main's probably going to be going on. At least it happened right now instead of when I was getting ready for B-Main's. If we're in the B. Alright, they are racing. Let's take a look. We're not going to have any of those results. And we are... Alright, so Wagner out front, Kalb, and Meadows, who we've seen wreck, and then Brendan Burkhoff. So we've seen a lot of these people wreck, and they've got a long ways to go to get back into a close transfer spot to the main. So four transfer from each of these make sure that I've still got the correct fuel in here. I do. And Burkhoff just wall riding now. 10 lap D main. And uh, McWhirter going for the transfer spot here. He's going to get it. He's up into fourth. 40 car is out. 40 car is struggling for grip. He's going to stay low now. 40 is going to get a run off the corner. And the, or 42, sorry. 42 gets a good run, but he goes back up to the top side. And here comes Spencer Putney in the 29. We're going to have a three car battle. Final lap, final corner. Out of the corner, they make contact. He doesn't make it, the 40 makes it. Oh, what a shit move. The 29 had it. 29 had it around the outside, and the 42 hit him. That's a bit trash. So I'm going to be starting ninth or eighth in the B main. So now we got a 14 car, 12 lap C main. And in this, four cars again transfer. Now, is Jake's not even here? He's on the pole, and I guess he gave up. Here we go. Here is your C main. Four cars from this transfer into the B. 27, you're blinking really flat. Oh, bad. And they will join the field right behind me for 16 laps to get to the main. Even if I don't make the A main, we'll watch it. What was that? That seemed very weird. Is my... Hmm. I didn't 
like what that looked like. I think my screen's okay. We're getting ready to go. So, will anyone that transferred great flag, great flag. out of the D make it up near the top here? We'll find out soon. Meadows trying to work his way on the outside there. Oh, big contact. Two cars out of this. And we're reverting back to the last lap there. So let's just double check that we know who made it out of this. 33, 5, 37, and 40. So 33 is the man to watch. Can uh, Braxton Wilson make it into the B main from the D main? Job got a little bit easier there with that wreck. So I think they're going to go double file again. We'll restart on lap two. Track has not got reset, so I just hope I can get it hooked up and quickly. We going single file? All right, we're doing single file restarts. So, uh, these two are up there already. And, oh, Braxton isn't one that transferred. Uh, 33 is, so Austin Wagner transferred. He's gonna take a look down in the middle, gets a run off the corner. Braxton Wilson goes up the outside. Never gonna work out though when they're squeezing up there. And this is just going to be an all out, elbows out. Holy crap. <coughs> Braxton, what? The yellow flag is out. It might've been the greatest corner ever, but uh, it's all for naught. We gotta go watch that again. He gets hung up here and then dives down low. Everyone's checking up. He hits the moisture on the bottom, flies out of the corner, but it does nothing for him because I, I think he's gonna be in like fourth place now. Third right now. So the 27's got the lead, the 34 in second, Braxton Wilson in third, and our transfer people, 33, 37, the five, five has no front wing, and the 40. So no one is in a transfer spot quite yet still. They've got eight minutes left to get this one done. We're going to be restarting and going to lap four. Each restart ticks the lap count up. It's a little different than real world. Lights are out on the pace truck. We'll give it another shot.
27 looking to get the moisture off the corner on the bottom. It is just making everyone confused and gets a good start there. He's going to go get a big lead now, and we're going to watch Wagner in the 33 try to get up to that transfer spot. Again, top four transfer, move on to the B main. Oh, big wall banging out of the 34. He somehow keeps it going forward, though. It's going to allow the 13 to get a run into the corner. Big slider line from the 33. Bouncing off the berm is the 26. That's going to get the 13 squirrely. Puts him in the center in the slick. Nowhere to go right now. The 39 loops it after hitting, or the 34, sorry, loops it after hitting the wall. 33 is now in a transfer spot. We've got six laps done. And uh, first really brutal race, race of the night. So a little unnecessary there by the 34 in a transfer spot. Running the very dangerous line up there. Doesn't work out. back up Just finish this damn thing. Only four and a half minutes left in this one. And they've already taken seven and a half minutes to do six laps. 27 going back down to the bottom. Wilson is going to follow him. The 33 is going to look to the high side. Great flag, great flag. Good start there. Get everyone through this clean. 33 slides up a little bit. Somehow with the arcade damage, the five cars looking on the inside to get a transfer spot. Dear God, can we get a decent damage model on Dirt Eye Racing? 33 gets a massive run off the corner there, though. He's going to slide it in. Not all the way up to the top, avoiding the big berm on the wall. Top four are pulling away as the back cars probably all got a little bit of damage and out of whack. We're on lap nine. Change of lead. It's the 26 working under the 27 for the win. Not really necessary. It's only going to move you to the inside on the B main. Not worth wrecking over. And top four should be good as long as they don't run into each other. And someone else ran into someone. Back here in Nowheresville. What happened? Thirty four just stops off the corner. Well, two and a half minutes left to get two laps in.
can they do it without a caution? Probably not. This helps the five, because on that initial start, he's able to work the bottom just enough to just take a look. But I don't think he can pull anything off there. Lights are out. And Jarek in the 27, going to bring him around. He got the lead back at the line. So we're going to do it again for the lead. They got to be smart. Contact is not an option. 33 looking to the high side again. Everyone's stacking up on each other. If you're going to go to the bottom, you got to go early. He's not going to have an advantage out of the corner. Very slow in the slick there. 13 almost gets into the 26. 33 is going to go shooting around the outside through 3 and 4. He's almost looking for second place here. We are on the final lap, or is it over? We're on the final lap. 33 taking a look on the inside. Everyone's just got to be smart. Get it around. You're all transferring. And it's over. Braxton Wilson wins it. 33 transfers in. The only car to transfer in from the D. And here we go. Ninth place. Gotta get to fourth. Moving the wing back to start off. We're a little heavier on fuel. It's only a 14 lap race. I thought it said 16. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Gonna be a little heavier on fuel. Seen the 14 was pretty quick in his Line up on the inside. Close. race. Pit road is closed. And we got a lot of quick guys that we've seen all night, so. Just gotta be safe, not get ran over. We got the B main guys right behind us. And uh, we'll try to find a line that works. And I will put the throttle up. There we go. So. One to go. go. Take your time by. Last lap. Session last. Going green. This first bit is going to be kind of feeling it out. I assume we're going to have cautions. Hopefully we're not one of them. Definitely not starting in the slick. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. And on the throttle too heavy. We get cut down there and we're just going to have to car outside, pace it around for a second. Car outside, clear high. We're just getting swamped. Right now, nothing we can do other than avoid wrecks. Holy shit, do you guys not fucking see people wrecking? They want you in single file. Pit road is closed right now, past us, 27 car. Well, we've lost a shit ton of... <laughs> shit ton of spots. How many are we going to get back? We got left rear damage. I can't get this fucking thing hooked up at all. Oh, we are not good. There's a lot less grip out here than I thought. Well, I think we got all our spots back. I was just trying to stay out of the mess. I mean, fuck. 
everyone was all over the place and I was all over the place. At least we'll be single file. We are in eighth place. Let's take a look up here. As you can see, this always forms up here and it will bounce you the fuck around. Do not have high hopes for transferring. <laughs> holy shit, I have no grip. We are, we are in trouble. One to go, next time by. Single file restart is going to help us a bit, though. It's just going to be about pedaling it through the middle of the corner to get the grip off the corner. And I've got to figure that all out really quick. Leader's gone. Ice car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. Just driving through the slick like a dumbass. I just can't. This setup is not good. Outside. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Clear outside. 17.8. Oh my god, we're oh. shit. We're gonna be last place in the B main. We are the chicken streaker. Getting it to work a little better. This guy's just going to continue to try to run through me. Um, you know, maybe, maybe you'll get lucky and I'll ghost. We're getting it hooked up now. I'm starting to figure it out, but we're miles behind the transfer spot. You never know, though. We saw Ryan make it in. This guy's just a fucking idiot, isn't he? Yes, he's a fucking idiot. He just kept running into me. So, yeah, go lower. That's how you're going to transfer. Fucking dipshit. Alright. Well, we knew we weren't going to make it. Not a whole lot of passing going on. Not a lot of track left. And I was just dog shit at the start. Now that I've got it figured out a bit, um, we're better than half the field, but it's too late. So, unfortunate. I should have put more time on a track like this, but I thought it was resetting for the mains as well, but only for the A main. You just got the white flag. That means one more left to go. But we were the 32nd high rated guy in here and uh, weren't supposed to make the main anyway, so. Uh, at least we don't look like that dude. Slow 
There we go. Dead last. That was uh, quite a sad performance. All right, moving on to the A main. They got warm up real quick. And uh, real quick. All right, so we're moving on to the A main. Warm ups going on. They're working in the track. We are looking at Ryan. That is our focus. My fault for racing. What a dick. Fucking dumbass. Another guy to block. Will not be allowed in my hosted racing. Dude just kept slamming into me in the middle of the corner. Like, what do you fucking think? What do you think's gonna happen? You have to pass them. You can't just fucking drive into them. It's a sprint car. But this shitty, shitty damage model that we have just allows people to do whatever the hell they want. They think, oh, I can just run into them and move them up. So, I don't give a shit what he has to say. He constantly was running into us, trying to slam us up the track to go under us. Well, you forced your way under there, so I'm just going to continue to run my line and you can go to the apron. Because apparently uh, the other six lanes weren't good enough for him to try to pass me. Hopefully this is a good race. Wish we were in it, but uh, we were absolutely dog shit on speed. Ryan's gonna be starting eight. Of the viewers that I know, Ryan's the highest starting one. Then Keaton, uh, McNabb. Let's see how they do. So warm up is done in 42 seconds. They are getting the track worn in. Is it going to reset again? I think it is going to reset again. Maybe not.
fastest right now in warm-up is the 10 car Chad Bird. But he might have got on track first. He will be starting 18th. Last man to make it in in that final heat race. So, they're lining up now. It's going to be fun. I hope not a wreck fest. Take this off. Sorry. And uh, we'll get everyone uh, loaded up. So we got 22 cars starting this one. It's going to be a pretty big points payout. 3,800. I'm not going to lose a whole lot of I rating because the B main, C main, and D main are less I rating change, and heat races aren't any changes, so not going to be worried about that. Not that I'm ever worried about that, but yeah, let's see if we get a good Tuesday night. World of Outlaw prelim night. I've got the uh, sound effects for fireworks off. So, that's why you're not hearing them. Lighten them up for the main. We're doing 35 laps. We're not. They are. I may run another one of these. We'll see. I don't know when this ends. Go ahead and uh, just get a little more volume to this. It's going to be uh, a whole lot of engines going. Let's hope it's 35 green because that would be amazing. My money on the four car. Don't know who the hell he is, but I'm going to put my money on him, other than Bergeon, because that's too easy of a pick. Here we go! Into one, and everyone clean through the top ten, and it looks like we are clean and green all the way through the back. Let's find Ryan. Ryan getting the high side to work right now. Started in eighth. He's going to come out first lap in the tenth spot. He's back to eleventh now. Eight cars in the wall. He's wheeling it off. He's getting hit. That's going to be a caution. No, no caution. Battle for the lead. We got the, there. We go. Now we got a caution, and it is the forty-six. What happened there? So. We had everyone flying around, 46 dives it in and just drives into the back of the 12 because he's as big of a dumbass as uh, the guy that was running into us. No offense, 46. I'm just angry at the other guy that thought driving through someone would work. So, uh, 46 has damaged his car on lap three. His race is over with. That was kind of unnecessary. We're going to line them up single file. Everyone's trying to get sorted out. They're all spread around the track, and lights are still on on the pace truck. And lights are still on. They're going one more time around. Bergeron with the lead. He was getting a little challenge from the 17th, so uh, we'll see what happens there. The inside is already getting worn out a little bit. So Bergeron, Stewart, uh, Gert, Gertie, Gertie, I don't know. Joshua Walton, my pick to either finish second or win. Uh, then Dackey Jr., Dakey Jr., however you say his name. Tony Gomes, Wraith Kalen, uh, Joshua Cotton, Dylan DeBono, Ryan Cadwell. 
hoping he can uh, pull off a top 10. As long as the back of the field continues to wreck each other, hopefully that doesn't happen. I was a little worried by how he crossed down on corner entry from the high side a little bit later than you would expect. That might be an issue for him. Now the next issue is, are we going to get an accordion playing? Everyone is spread out quite a bit right now. People are closing in now. It's green. And here we go. 41 taking a look down low on Ryan. The 8-car got his spot back, but he doesn't have a wing, so he's going to be struggling just a little bit. Not too much, though, with the arcade damage. Oh, he's struggling a lot. And he just gets ran into because, hey, everyone in this fucking race thinks that you can just drive through some people. Don't try to go around them. Drive through them. That is the way we are racing today. Yeah, I don't make a very good announcer when I'm angry. We're on lap six. Nope, we're on lap five. We'll be on lap six when they restart. Ryan in ninth place now. Uh, Keaton. Keaton is the 41. Sorry, was that you that I got angry at there? Yeah, it was. Sorry, Keaton. I mean, yeah, I guess he's wobbling around in front of you. But... I'm not blaming you. I'm just mad at the idiot. And mad that I was so pathetically slow to be around an idiot like that. All right, eight cars blinking in and out now as well. So we've got uh, multiple people at the back with our wings. Uh, we got the all white car that I'm glad to see has suffered and is in the back. That's what you get for not painting a number. We got them lined up, ready to go again to start lap six of 35. where we are watching. Um, where is Sammy? Sammy in the 12. Ryan hanging back a little bit too far. We are in green. Little contact between him and Keaton. Ryan's going to work the high side. Keaton follows him through. Going to dive down low out of the corner. Ryan should give him a lot of room here. Keaton's going to go ahead and go past and move up into the ninth spot. Ryan still got a top 10. Keaton a little high over the berm. That scares Ryan a bit. And now that car is pitching a little too much on corner entry. So now they're all stacked up right behind the 20. The 35 is going to slide up. Doesn't quite have room. Almost put Ryan in the wall. He's working it right around the top. Luckily doesn't get the wall. Still just not a lot of room. He's going to back off of it there, and he is safe now. So, Chad Burt started 18th, in 13th, just drives through the back of someone. Sammy McNabb around. Everyone's just fucking going everywhere. Ryan gets stuffed in the wall, and McNabb up to 11th. Get around to the line, get that solid 11th place in there. If a yellow comes out, he's got it. He's working the slider line in 10th place, actually. Back here, Chad Burt. Looking to follow the 39. Luckily, doesn't run into the back of him that time. He's going to go to the middle. He's going to give him a little right rear. He's going to get him a little right front. Not able to get quite by him. So... Back up front, well, we got the four car, my pick. He's going backwards. 
Where's the 41 went? Keaton Tripp is in sixth place now. He's working the slider line, bouncing it off the berm, getting the drive off the corner, and he is making it work. We're already on lap 12. Lap 13 make that. 25 car making its way up. Gabesh. He's going to do a slider, and they are clear. Now, are the leaders getting close to lap traffic? Well, we've got a new leader. The three. He's going to the top side. Bergeron working the bottom. We got a lap car just ahead of him. Side by side, lap 15. Bergeron pulls ahead. Now they got this blinking lap car that they don't know where he's going to be. Hopefully he holds a line. He does. He stays high. And the 7 decides, hey, I see a lap car running high. I'll just drive straight into a theme of the night. Let's go ahead and move back here. And Keaton still holding on to the sixth place, but Dominic in the 25 running him down. Four cars got that wing all the way back, it looks like, and he has no speed whatsoever. Cotton in ninth place. Chad Burt in tenth. Clint Stone, then Sammy McNabb. McNabb's lost two spots, about to lose a third. And... Yeah, Ryan. So Ryan pulled off the track. All right, so the three car. Now on the bottom, Bergeron on top. We got another lap car without a front wing just ahead of him as we're working lap 20 now. Seven bouncing the high side, getting a little run off the corner kind of dying in the middle of the straightaway. It's a better run on the high side in three and four, but he's going to have the lap car up there. Last time he tried to hit the lap car, and this time he's going to try it again and lose a spot. Um, cuts under him. Almost gets fast by to 23 of Tony Gomes. Bergeron pulling away, as you would expect. Looks like he was set up for a little drier track, and uh, he is now hooked up and going. Tony Combs, so working the bottom, looking for that third place. Nice long green run. Let's hope the 46 doesn't stop on track. Keep trip down low, slider line. He's still holding on to the sixth spot. Joshua Walton in fourth, and then Dominic Kabesh. Chad Burt all the way from 18th. He is in ninth. Cotton in 10th. Goins in the 28th. Clint Stone in the 39, and Sammy McNabb back to 13, still holding off the two car. All right, so at the back of the pack, there's Ryan in 19th, and there is our leader getting ready to lap Ryan. He's back down to the bottom. He's going to work underneath the 20 doesn't have heavy lap traffic for a while, and I don't think he's going to get there because we are on lap 26 now. He's going to go ahead and lap the 8 car once again. Three cars working under him. The 23 has gotten past the 7. I'm assuming the 7 probably put it into the wall running the line he was running. 23 working the bottom, getting decent runs down there, and closing in on second place. Gomes looking for a second place right now. Almost contact between Ryan and the A car. Taking a look back here, we got Walton. And he is moving up to fourth as his car has come in now. And back here, Keaton Tripp in eighth place. Chad Burt's going to be taking a look to move up into that eighth position. And he does. Very easy on the bottom. Let's go back up front. Battle for seconds going to be the closest one as we close in on the end of this one. Leader closing in, though, on these four lap cars. 
that can always bring a chicken streaker moment. You never know. Tony Gomes up high now. He was working the bottom pretty good. He's given up on that. We're just trying something different, I guess. Almost puts it in the wall there. A little loose on exit, and everyone's just kind of working where they can keep it straight now. So, leader in lap traffic. He gets around one. He's going to go middle, three wide middle, in between lap traffic. Starting lap 32 now, Bergeron walking away with this one, as you would expect. Garrett, no challenge now from Gomes. Bono kind of closing in, um, and we've just kind of spread out here. Chad Burt, though, biggest mover. He has got all the way up to eighth place. Keaton Tripp doing really good in the 41 car in ninth. And what a nice, awesome green run they've had here. Bergeron, little check up here as he's working around. Well, we got Sammy McNabb in 14th or 15th. He is getting lapped now by the leader. Bergeron trying to find a way around. He's got a ton of room right now. And on the last lap, gets around three lap cars in one corner. No caution is going to be coming out now. We have had a nice long green run. We see McNabb go for the 14th spot. Is he going to be able to hold on to it? His race is finishing one lap early. He gets that spot. And there we go. The finishing order. Nine car gets fourth spot. Dylan Devano works his way up into the fourth position. What a great race. That was a fun one to watch. Sadly, we watched it instead of racing, but we would have been a chicken streaker and just absolutely in the way out there. So, Debono from 11th to 4th, Burt from 18th to 8th, we got Debesh 16th to 7th, uh, Goins or Gowans 20th to 11th, and uh, what do we got? Biggest loss there. I'm not going to call biggest loser the 17. And uh, yeah, Ryan never had a shot. You know, 